Everything's normal. Right. What happened? Everything's just how it should be. I gnashed my testicular sack. <laughs> I twisted my bag real bad. Trying what, to put what? my shoes on. I was, I was doing that thing where you okay. put your shoe on without untying it. And I was like doing the chubby checker. Come on, baby. <laughs> Oh God, my nads. And I was just standing <laughs> in the living room of my host family being like, oh, oh. And I couldn't explain that it was mis testiculares. Mis huevos. See, huevos is good. But I didn't want to tell like old Miriam that I fucking mushed my bag. <laughs> so Pelota, I think, is ball. <laughs> yeah, pelota's ball. Y huevos is a uh, good old fashioned guy slang for nads, but. And then I, you know, so then I got here and then I forgot my computer charger. So I had to re, uh, necesito regresar a mi casa. Um, but here we are. And I'm, I'm happy to see you. How mad were you? Not that mad because I knew you didn't have to go to work. If you had to go to work, I would have been very mad because then you would have yelled at me and made me feel small and incompetent. I didn't want that. Today's a good day. It is. You're almost done with this fucking nightmare that is helping the people of Ecuador via your wife i mean i'm not doing shit all i'm doing is using all their toilet paper and filling up every goddamn basura <laughs> she's helping them and you're helping her so it's kind of a you know you're you're helping but by, by proxy oh yeah no i'm the best you're right i am helping and everyone should be like usa sam t's the man um oh dude i've been eating so much trace lake leche's cake yeah Dude, the, the panaderias here, oh mm. my God. And there's just Trace Leche's cake everywhere. It's like if Becker went to fucking Portland, you know? It's just his drug of choice is available on every street corner. <laughs> and it's cheap, dude. It's so fucking cheap. The cake here is like two bucks for a big old cake. And also, if you're alone out there, no one knows you had one. And then maybe you meet up with them and you say, hey, you know what would be cool? If we got a Trace Leche's cake. So you can double dip. <laughs> <laughs> have you done that yes twice <laughs> you have two people down there and you've lied to both of them about your leches intake yes but also they've got to enjoy some cake with me so that's been nice for them say leches say leches and they got one down here that has like coffee at the bottom of it like a tiramisu and that one is gas yeah but you guys tried some actual tiramisu and it wasn't good was that correct that's correct yeah we got some like the panaderias down here are open like until midnight but the later you go the older the cake is so yeah. they're kind of like liquor stores in colorado where if you get there at 11 55 they'll just like you know give you the cake equivalent of a bottle of rumble mints and you have to be happy with it yeah yeah well, the rumble mint stays yeah. fresh because it's capped Correct. Liquor this is in like a spinning you, case. Gives you half a bottle. <laughs> there you go. Old Sid was in here before you. Yeah, old Sid was able to down about half of this before I kicked his ass out of here. But you can have <laughs> yeah, it for before, four bucks. Before I caught his ass in the mirror at the end of the aisle. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the mouthpiece does reek visibly, but uh, four bucks. Take it or leave it. That's worth it's... more than the gold in the bottle. <laughs> there's cartoon stench lines coming off of it <laughs> yeah a bunch of flies in the bottle somehow what's your shirt uh oh it says uh, i love y'all bye it's a phil pointer shirt phil pointer down there in cincinnati you met phil right big black I, phil huge yeah, ass i think he did a set on the last show sunday show oh was he there for sunglass sundays wasn't he maybe not i think so dude <laughs> He did a guest spot, but maybe not on Sunglass Sunday. <laughs> Dude, Sunglass Sunday ruled. I can't wait to bring it back. The first weekend of December out there at old Go Bananas in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah, baby. Yeah. But yeah, Phil back. hit me up and he was like, you want to come back? You should. We'd love to have you. I am. It's in my calendar. Good. So Phil hit me up. He was like, hey, is it true you used to walk around downtown Denver without shoes on? Because if so, I used to do the same thing before an old homeless man warned me about staph infection. Ugh. And I just responded and I was like, yes, I did. But no one warned me about staph infection. I just Nobody. got shoes finally. <laughs> Nobody cared. <laughs> yeah. No one cared what my fucking feet were rotting from. 
He was doing it in Denver, or was he talking about Cincinnati or somewhere else? Old Natty. Both Queen oh. Cities, one on the plains, one on the river. And both two ample butted boys just out there, sand shoes, making their way downtown. I can't wait to get home. You've been gone forever. You went from somewhere to Mexico to Ecuador. You weren't in Fort Collins before Mexico, right? You're in no, New dude. Orleans. I've been gone since April 19th. Since April 19th, I've, uh, you know, Philadelphia. Uh, had a flight canceled. Had to stay in Chicago overnight. Went to a, went to a fucking uh, Cajun wedding down there in old uh, Iberville, or Louisiana. Spent some time in New Orleans with my fam. Shipped off to Mexico with you. Made our way through the sand, dodging bullets, honking senoritas, not asking for questions. Uh, and then now I've been in Ecuador, just drinking, uh, drinking water and eating cake. What was the fruit that you shared on your Instagram? It looked gross. I'll bet it was delicious. Oh, so I don't even know the name of that thing. They just have them in a bowl at my host family's house. And I don't know if they're for me or if they're <laughs> for the uh, two-year-old nephew who lives next door. So when Miriam goes out to feed the dogs, I hear the door open and I come out of my writing room and I go and I eat one. It's my little secret treat since I haven't been boozing down here. No booze or what? Little booze? I've had I've had maybe four beers since I've been here. Why? I don't know, because I was trying to drag dry out, you know, trying to let my uh, mitochondria uh, reform themselves. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I guess I had I had like six beers and baños. But that doesn't count. I was in a hot tub. You said it got busy. Did you, you had to share tubs with other people or was were you able to get your own space or what? There was a lot of sharing my tub, which is my torso, with the tub. So yeah, it was my giant body and then like, you know, very small and gorgeous rich Latina women. Just like kind of like kind of, you know, like when you let the water out of a bathtub and the water just goes in a swirl and all the hair and detritus goes around the drain. That was them in my gravity. Bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> just getting dizzy in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just circling me. Uh, I told you about a... how Duddy didn't want to go in the Down syndrome room, right? In the Down syndrome pool. I don't think so. Yeah, there was a girl with Down syndrome in one of the pools, and the other three were full. And my dad looked at the girl with Down syndrome alone in one of the hot tubs, and he looked at me, and he went, well, we can't get in there. <laughs> What's his problem? I think he thought that he would catch something. <laughs> she, like, really had it, too, though. She was thwacked with the Downs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do remember saying something awful. I, th I think I called her Droopy on oh, the, pre yeah. the previous mm -hmm. episode that's right i, I don't remember. remember your dad being scared of her yeah my dad was like hey call her churchill because she's got downs and i was like that's pretty good we gotta uh, get out of here oh no he we i was talking about uh the birthday girl at the comedy cabin i think so oh anyway. yes 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 we've we've been around them they're everywhere they're everywhere man what's up uh, with you what do you got for me well, you talking about the pretty locals made me think of a pretty local that pissed me off yesterday. She was a real slap nuts at the bar. Very there were these good. two women that Describe came in. Describe her body to me. What's that? Describe her body. Describe her uh, body. I don't Which know. one of our friends did she most resemble? Which one of your exes actually did she most resemble? Uh, she kind of looked like... This uh, lady Monica that I saw briefly, who was Native American. This woman, I think, was Mexican. But very uh, pretty face. Very pretty, brutal. striking face. And was nice at first. She and this other girl work at one of the banks here. They're known as the bank girls. And they were oh, fine. Cool. And then they had a couple shots and a couple beers. And then they were getting out of there. And one of them uh, signed out, tipped. The other one uh, says... Let me get uh, four shots and I want you to do one with me. And I said, well, as I told you earlier, I don't drink. And she said, that's not acceptable. And I said, okay, what? I'll do a shot with you. And I did Sprite. And she goes, what is that, tonic? And I was like, no, it's Sprite. 
and it's what you're getting. And she was like, that doesn't count. And I was like, I'm not going to drink with you, girl, who I've known for two seconds. It was crazy. She was so fucking so pretty, just used to getting her way, you know, and she she sees some, you know, slob who she assumes (laughs) will shoot the president for her if she asks. Yeah. some human toilet <laughs> yeah yeah i'm just a fucking what were you saying in mexico toilet worm <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i crawled out of the sewers and i'm you know i'll do anything for a, a smile and a handshake uh-huh. yeah and so i'll throw <laughs> almost seven years of sobriety down the drain where the worms are for her at her behest yeah and it fucking oh, it made me so mad i was like you, you tune her up no, I tuned up the band. I started stomping in the corner. I was going to give her sweet chin music. <laughs> yeah. But she got out of there. No, it was just you just put crazy. her. You just put her in the razor's edge position, but you didn't drop her on her head. Right, yeah, and then let her wiggle yeah. out. God, uh-huh. dude. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And then she's like, oh, tell Suzanne that the bank girls were here and we miss her. She likes, she like, and she was like, she likes me more than you. And I was like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if this is any indication of how you are in here, then no, <laughs> Suzanne does not like you more than me. Uh, it would have been I great if you were, it would have been great if you were like, wait, what? She does? <laughs> what? She's fucking told you that? That sucks. <laughs> yeah, Please, what? There's no way. This yeah. is bullshit. I've been working here no, for two I'm years. No, I'm calling her right now. I'm calling her right now. Suzanne, uh, the bank girl's here. Oh yeah, hold on. Yeah, I, I'll put you on speaker. <laughs> Say it with your chest, Suzanne. <laughs> Me or bank girl. So yeah, that was that... Uh, that was very frustrating and annoying. Yeah. Hopefully she is very hungover today. Yeah. Did you put any like visine in her drinks? No, I just poured the shots. She fucking didn't tip. So that was very cool of her. Very classy move. Didn't tip. No. Four shots. Jeopardized, jeopardized your fucking fickle sobriety. My kid's your weak, education. tenuous grasp on so- sobriety. And she didn't yeah. tip. No. I even sold the Sprite. I did, you know, I took the shot and I was like, nice. Ooh. ooh. <clears throat> oh, God. That's uh, spicy. <laughs> I missed that. I missed that. Care. Hello, old friend. She Good to see you again. <laughs> I should have poured like two more shots of Sprite real quick. And I'm like, I'm back, baby. Yeah, Stick around, bank her. girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, you I'm rip gonna, your shirt off and wrap it around your head. And you say, I'm a terrorist. I'm going to make a deposit. Hey, I need a loan for my bone. And then you slap <laughs> your throbbing rod on the, on the bar. <laughs> As soon as I take a shot of alcohol, my dick gets hard. It's like, oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, hello. Where have you been? <laughs> welcome back from sabbatical. <laughs> Did you find what you were looking for in my balls? <laughs> the beast is, is awoken from his slumber. The tiniest beast. <laughs> the giant God, stirs. It's fucking hot in here. It sucks. Bro, it's so hot in here, too. And I have to have the door shut so my dad can do his Sudokus. I'm just in here dripping. Oh, God. At least your it balls sucks. don't hurt. Yeah, I have not twisted my balls or my sack. They are good. When I was a kid, I had torsion. I had to go to the hospital. They got wrapped around each other. What were you doing with them? I don't remember. I think I was probably doing <laughs> one of my Chris Farley impressions. <laughs> You're doing yeah, my an guys act out? Up. Yeah. I was You're- like... You're doing the the Matt Foley shuffle and you twist it yeah. up. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh my god. Yeah. Or I was doing the truffle shuffle for like an eighth grade football game. I can't remember. But uh, you know that game that girls play in the park where they whack the ball and it goes around the pole. It's only for girls and like short boys. Not croquet. No, you know with the pole and there's the ball on the string. Oh, te- tether ball. Yeah. Tether ball. Yeah, I tether balled my own. My own, uh, my own, my, my guys, my guys got all tangled up. The committee. Yes. Yeah. Junior in the bunch. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, exciting news for Sick. our $20 patrons. I met with our friend Leslie. She's going to help us out with some merch. So hang in there. If you're in line, stay in line. Uh, and we'll have uh, patron Patreon stuff in the mail that is chubby behemoth uh stuff 
and uh those things most of that stuff will then eventually be available to all so thank you to leslie she has a an instagram account it's o snap la la o h s n a p l a l a and on there is her etsy so you can check out her stuff she's very talented and i'm excited to uh have a bunch of our 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 memes our sayings our characters uh printed out and plastered on some stickers and some shirts and some maybe some pint glasses and uh yeah it'll be we're all very uh, excited to start honoring our promises that's what we're your excited promise for, that you made me promise yes well f- hey fulfill the prophecy hey. that you bestowed upon me hey what are we doing today what was our rule for today's podcast? No rules. Yes, I, it was be I nice live. to each other. Oh, I didn't. I missed you're that a, memo. You're being a very you're being a bank girl right now, I'll and I'm you. My and secretary. I'm sober. I'm sober off of getting yelled at by you. <laughs> I'm going I'm cold nice. turkey from getting fucking lashed at by old Lun man. Ooh, I'm gonna lash you so hard, June second. You should, because guess what. You can lash me in matching outfits that I purchased us. Down there? Or on yes. Line? No, down here. Are, is it, are, are we going to appropriate someone's culture or no? Yes, but we're not sure who's. Oh, that's good. <laughs> nobody yes. can be mad because nobody <laughs> exactly. can claim it with any certainty. Yeah, you can't put <sighs> us in a corner. What? Whoa. Stick our I'm shirts hot. off. I'm Stick hot, off. man. All right. Take your shirt off. Donna. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. This is what <laughs> this is what men's bodies are allowed to look like in 2023. Hey, Nathan. Uh, Why would you, you know start? What... Why the fuck would you start? <laughs> you know, Sam, Father's Day is coming up. Uh, my dad's dead, but yours is still alive, supposedly. <laughs> it's coming up, and you probably have no idea what to get your old man. You don't. Dude. I don't. I don't. Gonna, no, I don't. Get him. Guinea pig. A pocket pussy. I'm gonna give a pocket pussy. <laughs> a new wife. Yeah. He doesn't want to get married again. <laughs> dude, so my dude, sister's really nervous that he's going to get married again, and we're gonna get cut out of the will. That's like a legitimate fear she has. It's gonna be some fucking black widow gold digger. <laughs> That'd she's be gonna, cool. Have a new black mom. She's gonna take his ponytail yes uh well yeah so you don't know what to get your your dad for father's day why don't you let manscaped help okay manscaped what should i get my dad uh, you should get him a glass of shut up so i can read this manscaped performance package 4.0 has everything dad needs to get grooming the package includes the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer the weed wecker 2.0 ear and nose hair trimmer the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Tone, and per- Toner. Nice. And per- performance Boxer I didn't, Briefs. I didn't correct you, did I? I let you live. That's what friends do. Yeah, you're, you're doing a good job. Thank you. So all of that comes in a travel bag, so everything I did is that ready once. To- I came in a travel bag. Cool. Why don't you shove yourself in there and mail yourself to... A different country in South America. You can just stay down there forever with your shitty internet and your dogs <laughs> nipping at your butt. <laughs> Look, I know that for sure. If there's one thing dads love, it's trimming their pubes. There's nothing that dads love to do more than just get in there and uproot that fucking mound they've had since Fog Hat was on was opening for ELO. So, um, if your dad already has his grooming routine down, why do you know that? Why would he tell you that? Why would your dad tell you, hey, guess what? I'm fucking smooth as hell, boy. (laughs) Get out of the bathroom. (laughs) Leave him be. You guys don't have to be in there at the same time. Take Uh turns. There's plenty of battery (laughs) life to go around. Or you can just plug it into the wall. And you guys can trim the night away. If you have some kind of weird camera impregnated in your dad's mirror. So you can see when he is shorn and when he is not shorn. We're not here to judge you. Okay, if that's how you bond with Duddy, go crazy. But if you really want to make dad happy, and also if you want to make your mom happy, because she's probably tired of that just fucking tumbleweed he has, or maybe your dad's double dipping, maybe he's going to the old truck stop and banging out strange dudes, 
Get 20% off and free shipping with the code CHUBBY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code CHUBBY, C-H-U-B-B-Y. Make this Father's Day one he won't forget with Manscaped. My dad is going to forget this Father's Day because he's sucking the devil's dick in hell. You forgot your dad even when he was alive. If your dad already has his grooming routine down, hook him up with Manscaped's Boxers 2.0. They're super comfortable, breathable, and supportive, much like much like his wife never was. Chubby at manscaped.com. Oh, you know what sucks? Uh, I caught a glimpse of my back in the mirror not too long ago. Oh, don't and, do that. Uh, well, I hadn't in a long time. And then I see yeah. it, and I'm like, oh, no. There's like That's... 10 times as much hair as there was the last time I saw it. Dude, hair is the least of your worries back there. I look at your back all the time, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I can't really. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You have those dimples Gross. above your ass, too. I got it all. Oh, you know, it's funny. We got to share that picture of you uh, spraying my butt crack with sun sunblock. I yes, didn't realize do. my butt was that out. <laughs> I thought I had, oh, like, yeah. given a little peek. Instead, you got the whole magilla. Yeah, no, it was fucking 4D. It was. <laughs> it, it was I, like seeing, I, it's like seeing a movie when the seats rattle and they like spray you with yeah, this. And you can That's smell how much stuff. of your butt I could experience. Yeah. Uh, you always think you always think that I'm like like sneaking a pencil in your butt crack, but no, it's like the length of the pencil whenever I put it in there. No, it's not. But the, in this yes, in this case, I dumped. I dumped my dump. You sure and did. When I saw it, when Saul, the James the Gang picture, was available for bookings. When I when I first saw it, I thought it was your butt, which like fucked with my brain because I knew the picture <laughs> was me. But it looked like your butt, long at long crack, and that deep. You want to end, but it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, my butt crack is to be continued. It's a real cliffhanger <laughs> of an ass. <laughs> It was crazy. <laughs> you confused <laughs> our butts and it hurt your brain. It's like how some couples start to look alike. Our butts are starting to mimic each yeah. other. <laughs> yeah, your face looks like my butt. <laughs> it's like it's like a pet in its owner. <laughs> Dude, I forgot about this. Did I ever tell you about the time when I got busted with tape on my nipples in the high school football locker room? I think so, but why don't you uh, tell it again? Dude, I used to put uh, duct tape on my nipples to kill off the hair because someone told me that would kill the hair or stop the hair from growing. And I was like super itchy all the time on my nips. So like I used to just always smack duct tape on there. And also it would suppress my nipples for when they got hard, when my young little like 17 year old nipples got hard and people could see them through my shirt. It was like a double whammy. It's like God hide my giant nipples and then also kill the hair. So I was like, well, I'm the smartest boy alive. This is great. I should probably get a scholarship for my research in this. So, <laughs> but I had a football game and I, uh, the, the, the rights to the truffle shuffle were handed down from senior to senior. And my senior year, Wyatt Mays bestowed the truffle shuffle upon me. So whenever we'd win, I would hop up on a bench, take off my shirt. Everyone would cheer, truffle, shuffle, truffle, shuffle. I would take off my shirt, do the wiggle around, you know. Everyone loved it. Just a fucking real mood saver. And then the party would begin. So I hopped up on that bench after a game. I think we were in Jefferson County Stadium. And I took my damn shirt off, took my pads off, took my jersey off. And then lo and behold, I forgot that I just had fucking black X's on my nips. And instead of everyone going, "Uh oh, who that boy? Here he goes. (laughs) He's about to party. It's going down. Everyone was just silent. And I was doing my patented dance, wiggling it all around, showing them what I had. And everyone was just like kind of looking at each other. And my first thought was, oh, good, my pants tore and they can see my pangus. I looked down, (laughs) penis was hidden. And then I looked down and I saw that my fucking nipples had tape on them and i did the classic like oh no and then my coach <laughs> coach Klein came up ripped the tape off and thank god he smelt it and went not bad and then everyone was like surf's up you know <laughs> <laughs> but it was so horrific dude it was the worst why would he smell them 
why would he think to smell him? That's like, I mean, I do that with my own body, but not my fucking nose tackle. Or no, you were on O line. Yeah, I mean, that was a big part of uh, the the masculinity that was on display in Elizabeth High School football was smelling people's jock straps, smelling people's cleats, uh, being, smelling people's helmets. And also, I think he fearless. was bailing me out. Yeah, yeah, he bailed me out because he thought I was some little homo who was just, you know, outed himself in front of all the boys. He didn't respect me. <laughs> but he still saved me. That's a real coach. He swore an oath. Yeah. Hated, yeah, exactly. Yeah, what I was the city of, he swore to defend. Well, what kind of buff? That's pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, in this angle. Look, I look buff. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Lund's buff. Okay, the duck lips aren't helping, but yes. Look how wide. Why do you look I, so buff? Look how broad I am. You look like Chris Pierce. God, I wish. He's getting hot. <laughs> I don't look buff at all. No. Look how big look, my head looks. You look slight and slender with a big head. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. What the fuck? This is how I always look. Well, no, you're not always shirtless. And look at this. Yeah, now you really look, <laughs> look that. like a fucking match. <laughs> I don't have any arms. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little flipper boy. Oh, it's, it's storming out there. I can hear thunder. Like Meanwhile, it's a fucking jungle in here. It's all humid because of the snake. <laughs> oh, this, you have to keep it wet for the snake? No, no, it's not. It's oh, just okay. warm in here. There's not. I don't have the front doors open, so there's no cool breeze coming through you know what you should do let george michael and the snake like out let the snake out of his cage put george michael and the snake in the bathroom see who wins well this snake is fucking he finally ate after like two months we wasted i think six rats on his ass because once they cool down past you know down like past like 95 degrees then he won't eat it so she megan has had to toss him so he kept fucking putting rats in there, but he's fucking, he's a little posh, little spoiled princess of a snake. Damn. So he wasn't eating and he finally ate. What so a great problem cool. to have. Yeah. I would love just to goes to two, months. two months. Yeah. Look at me now. Look, I'm buff now. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> look. I'm the shoulders look good. This. Arms, yeah, the arms are good. Wide. Yeah. <laughs> Very look wide. Yeah. Very wide. Look how wide I am. Yeah, okay. wide is good. I'm very wide. <laughs> yeah, wide is wide is better. Because look, I look how look how like my head looks normal right now. Yeah. And then, uh oh, yeah. whoops, <laughs> two heads. Oh no, <laughs> little, little formaldehyde babies here. <laughs> two heads, not always better than one. Put me in the geek pit. Feed not me all for, the geese. Not formaldehyde. I think it's thalidomide. Th thalidomide, thalidomide, baby. Yeah. Is that in geek love? Yes, it is. And I? I gotta say, when I get back to Colorado, no one's allowed to correct me ever, no matter what I say. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. All right. No, you're okay. <laughs> you're good. Look, I'm not mad at you. I get it. You're doing your job. You're doing your due diligence over there. You're like a Wall Street bets trader. But fucking A. If someone tells me to say cone one more time, I am committing the ultimate crime. <laughs> Family uh -huh. annihilator. Uh-huh. Yeah. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Emmy. Say, say it, Emmy. Say it in Spanish. <laughs> Adios. It's hard to say it with that gun in your mouth, isn't it? <laughs> Adios. Hasta luego, mi vida. Uh, but I oh, speak fluent Spanish now, so that's good. The dogs are back, huh? They've never went away. <laughs> I couldn't hear them it's until just a, now. It's just a constant tornado of fuck down here. <laughs> a tornado of fuck. I'm just in the eye of the shitstorm, 24/7. Are the streets running red with blood, or are the protesters uh, calm? Oh yeah, that lasted like 48 hours. It was fine. What is Congress rehired or what? No, no one cares. Everyone's like, yeah, that just happens like every two years down here. President does whatever he wants, embezzles a bunch of money, dissolves Congress, and then he kind of does what he wants for three months, but he lives in fear of getting like deposed or assassinated, so he's usually pretty good about it. <laughs> so he's polite while doing yeah. what he wants. Like their checks and balance system is a clock tower and a rifle. That's all that they have to worry about down here. The good old days. Mm -hmm, yeah. Charles Starkweather, my favorite president. 
Who's that? Uh, that was that guy who shot all those kids at the University of Texas, I oh. think. Maybe That's I'm funny that my you know his knows. name. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, a lot of guys know Michael Jordan. I know my heroes' names. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Oh, I was reading about a Twitter thread about Kent State because, you know, your mom was there. Uh, mm-hmm. One of those students was a fucking narc. He was, like, working with the FBI and, like, local police, like, just, like... Mm-hmm narking out uh i don't know if it was war protesters draft dodgers whatever i'm sure probably all of it i think it was guys were getting guys were getting a little too much pussy not right for the rest of us he's narking them out so he could get his knob slobbed yeah he's like this guy's been fingering since undergrad and now he's in his masters not fair (laughs) this guy won't be on the green (laughs) yeah (laughs) oh but yeah he it was so much information i just tried to like stick to the the tweets instead of also looking at the documentation but uh yeah he almost certainly like was given a gun by local cops and then fired it so that they so that the national guard could shoot back it was fucked man it would have been bad enough if the cops just decided to open fire but i think that it was like planned so that's just awful anyway yeah i don't know why i brought it up i guess because he brought up a tragedy on a college campus and i was like let's yeah let's let's dive deeper you know what i you know the you know the rumor the uh the conspiracy theory about uh the virginia tech shooter chinese (laughs) i think i remember pictures he was chinese yeah he was korean though that's that's how deep this thing goes oh that's God. why he did it because people kept saying he's are you chinese hey i heard you're from china what's going on how's the great wall and then he snapped so really it's our fault by not knowing our asian friends they can tell each other apart oh i'm broad again hey watch out hey keep me out of that revolving door because no one's getting free look at this it's so thick whoa Yikes. stop wiggling <laughs> it's like my bones are trying to get loose yeah those shoulders are popping then of course i can do this maneuver oh yeah i wish i can't even come yep. close mm-hmm. no one knows about that <laughs> and then in the back oh yeah get to know each other elbows <laughs> yeah my elbows have never met oh, they're strangers yeah. what a Oh, I gotta get another massage. You know what I want is I want uh, the Virginia You're Tech hooked. shooter's mom to walk on my back. That's what I want, dude. You're gonna do so. You're not. You haven't sworn off massages. No. You had a bad first time, but you're gonna try again. I didn't have a bad first time. It was just really weird because uh, you know a 19 year old girl who didn't speak any English was just rubbing me down with her forearms while Emily was over there getting fucking oil rubbed all over her honkers. <laughs> Emmy kept giggling and I was like why were you giggling and she's like well she kept oiling up my boobs and I was like oh, I'm glad I was face down for that <laughs> yeah I would have hated to see that that would have sucked for sure it would have sucked to get hard yeah that would have sucked especially because that, that hole in the table wasn't big enough <laughs> milk Wait. me milk me <laughs> <laughs> get the bucket <laughs> Do you ever watch the the porn videos where the the dicks through a hole or through the table? It's always weird to me. It just looks like just a dick showed up. <laughs> like, oh, hey, no. what's up? <laughs> I, I don't like it. Yeah, he like has his time card. He clocks in. Hello, I'm just yeah. a dick today. I'll yeah. be your just a penis this afternoon. Yeah, he leaves the apartment, says bye to his owner. You know the guy. <laughs> yeah, the balls who owns him. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Balls, come on. It's the three of us today. Dad's got dad's got another gig. It's just, yeah. Dad's got a hand modeling gig across town. Yeah, he's just outsourcing his parts. Yeah, we've got a gland modeling gig today. He's really hustling. This guy no, with a detachable I, penis. I a king missile. I've given up on uh, you know, the pleasures of the documentarian flesh documentarian porn see you know you never really were a big whacker you used to always say that you just saved it for whoever you were with 
Yeah, I mean, when I was younger, I mean, I could have been in the Hall of Fame. Right. No, I'm not talking there about should, when you were a preteen. Yeah, there should be a bust of me in the uh, in the in the Bang Bros. Uh, in the Bang Bus, like 90 second videos. Yeah, I probably put up some huge numbers compared to the rest of the general population. Uh, God, taking the shirt have, off have barely favorites. helped. I have my favorites, you know. I have some old friends that I visit from time to time, kind of like visiting my grandfather at the nursing home. I swing by, say, do you remember me? Because I remember you. <laughs> it's very gratifying for one of us. One Jacket. of us says, the other one doesn't know that I'm there. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> Dude, one of the best things ever was when we both said Gianna Michaels. I couldn't believe it. There's a million mm -hmm. people we could have said, and we yeah. had never talked about it. No. And that was like episode seven or something. It was early on. And I was like, we got something here. <laughs> yeah, we still got that old black magic. We're getting our rhythm back like a session musician. <laughs> Dude, yeah, man. have you ever fucked with chat GPT? Uh, no. Bro, it's what fucking you, wild. What are you doing with it? I'm saying uh, write a description of my best friend. And it always says a very furry, extremely hairy back, uh, <laughs> snake owner, um, sober begrudgingly, uh, secretly thick cock, looks great from the clavicles up. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> black, black. God, yeah. yeah we, AI has a way to go. There, there's a lot more misses than they're making contact. We all have a bad habit or two. I used to chew my I, nails. You used to gamble to the point of being destitute. I have currently, right now, I have a, I just bit off a fingernail while we were reading the last ad, and I'm kind of chewing it up right now with my teeth. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> we're human. It's okay. But I'll tell you this. Fume lets you remove the bad while keeping the habit making it a much easier transition on your brain and body. That gross, disgusting body of yours. Yeah, good thing that uh, I don't really have any bad habits like gluttony or sloth. My habits aren't really bad habits. They're, uh, they're more seven deadly sins. Deadly sins. That's, yes. But well, uh, fume, F-U-M, with those motorhead dots over the U, is an innovative loves. award. Umlau mau. Fume is an innovative award nominated device. Award nominated, that's big. Uh, no electronics. Fume is completely natural, just like me, and not like Chris Pierce, who's for sure on <laughs> Guatemalan boy <H> hormone. <laughs> yeah. There's no vapor or harmful chemicals. Fume just uses air and all natural, delicious flavors like white cranberry and crisp mint. Mm, finally cranberry for guys like us <laughs> um, <laughs> hey lund uh do you have a favorite flavor of fume brand product uh you know what i got both uh white cranberry and crisp mint but i think the most uh exciting and innovative flavor is the maple pepper whoa you feel like you're out in the woods just you know huffing a, a tree a delicious tree where are we? Uh, a Canadian wedding where it's interracial? <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy in your mouth you, and your lungs. You love honking on fume, don't you? I do. I just want to put something in my mouth and, and, and inhale and get some kind of fucking relief from the, the grind, from the hamster wheel. I know. Hey, by the way, here's that fingernail I was telling you about. Oh, God. Isn't cool. that cool? You could pick a lock with that thing. <laughs> I know, dude. Yeah. You know what I do? <laughs> you know what's completely fucked? Is sometimes I'll get one of these bad boys and then I use it to floss my teeth. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We've all done That's it. That's a classic, right? That's not weird. <laughs> it, it, no, I, I've, I've done it. Oh, good. I I've think that's why you have fingernails. I've done it with toenails. Toenails are dangerous because they'll really tear the shit out of your gums. Yeah. But, you know, I'm in control. They're thick, man. Uh, speaking of being in control, with an adjustable airflow dial and movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, fume helps reduce stress and anxiety while you break your habit. So that's good. 
Uh, I got a habit for you right here, pal. <laughs> much, uh, much like Lincoln Park, I'm breaking the habit tonight. <laughs> yeah, m- much like uh, Sister Act Two, I'm back in the habit. <laughs> <laughs> now, stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Dare I say? Fume, Fume is- has served over a hundred thousand customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by keep picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use F-U-M. code Shut up. Use code oh. Chubby to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code Chubby to save an additional 10% off your order today. No, dude, but I've, uh, I'm writing this, my new novel, and there's, uh, there's elements of Marine Corps boot camp in it, and you can ask chat GPT, like, what brand of cigarettes are for sale in Marine Boot Camp Commissary in Paris Island, South Carolina, and it just lists them all for you. It's so, oh, that's, sorry. That's, that's Google, too, though, isn't it? No, dude, because Google, you have to, like, search oh, through. A bunch, of, bunch of bullshit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got to click and unclick. Chat GPT just gives you exactly what you want, dude. Give me the donuts. You can also, you can also say, you can also say, write a paragraph in the style of Sam Talent about the Westminster Dog Show. And then it gives you a paragraph about like whatever you want. It kind of, it doesn't sound exactly like me at all, but it does sound like something that I would have wrote when I was younger. It's fucking spooky, dude yeah we're done we're done no i've seen a lot of people share examples of them of of chat gpt or whatever writing stuff and it's always off a little bit like the ai like pictures of the like hands and stuff or just yeah yeah, yeah, or just sounds like a total nerd who has encyclopedia britannica at home and has their parents help them with a book report like it's like it's it's very try hard there's no yeah there's no flair there's no personality it's just like Mm -hmm. i don't know i i think that it'll be a while before they can and 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 everybody keeps saying that yeah it'll be like six months because it's just going to keep getting more and more refined the more Mm -hmm. that people use it or or the more uh examples from the real world and from history are are fed to it so yeah i I guess more people engage with it the stronger it gets yeah we got to stay away from it like my wang the more <laughs> hands that are on it the tougher and more thick it gets I gotta give mom our pills oh nice i should have done that with my mom maybe she'd still be alive <laughs> uh god did she catch something at the alamo what happened can we can we sue alamo draft house uh no she it was actually uh she did it herself she she pushed her own wheelchair in front of a train. That's why we never. That's why we didn't have an open casket because her face was removed by the by the tires of the of that big old truck. <laughs> uh, of course, I got wet food on me. Oh, you got wet food on your body? On my fingers. On a hot day. Yeah, this is a nightmare. I thought, oh, I'll uh, just have it right here, and it'll be great. And of course. Uh, all I right, hate two, wet dog food. Two for Mama, and then a little taste for George Mike. There's no pills for George Michael, but there is a little treat. Otherwise, he'd be left out, you know? Give George a Percocet. Give your little dog some fucking oxys and see how cool he gets. He got a hold of... No. He got a hold of uh, one of Mama's pills once. Jesus Christ. Was it Mama's little yellow pills? Was it that beer from the Oscar Brewing Company? <laughs> no. He got a hold of some uh, one of Mama's pills because he's right there, you know, ready for his piece of the action. And uh, we called Dr. Kev and he's like, he'll be all right. He might be a little out of it for a little bit, but then he'll be okay. He's a what little pill trooper. was it? She takes, uh, Capra, she takes Capra, which is anti-seizure, and then potassium bromide, I think, is like general... Well, no, it must also be anti-seizure or 
a little bit of um a tranquilizer. I don't know. She has well, she has trazodone. Oh, nice. Give George Michael a trazodone. Next thing you know, he's gonna be wearing a backwards hat. He's gonna have sunglasses on. <laughs> He'll be getting around on a skateboard. He totally crossed out. Get oh, yeah, out that- of here. George, hello. Trying to, trying to talk to my nude friend here via the internet. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, now I'm trying gonna to, make my trying to boxers. talk to this giant blob. I'm gonna make my boxers smell like dog food so that mama <laughs> I'm gonna have a oh, twisted sack. Get out of there. I don't want it on yeah. my fingers. Oh, look at this. George Man. is gonna bite your sack. George is gonna think that you're secreting little bacon bits in there and he's gonna but, rip off your nad bag. He is. Uh, it's the side, so he might just get some thigh. Oh yeah, he might lose his whole snout between your bag and your meat. That's a very dangerous part of a man's body. That little Sack. valley. Sacktown. Yeah, no. No, like right. Yeah, on the outskirts of Sacktown, on, on the other side of the tracks. The folds. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It's the a barrio. Bad place to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the it favelas. Reeks. It it reeks <laughs> very quickly. It's the first thing to reek, too. Yeah, the fold. Speaking of reeking and folding, guess what I had for dinner last night? I think I know. Pussy. No. No. Uh, I ate fucking guinea pig last night. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It looks Ooh. horrifying. It looks like yeah. a little guinea, little guinea pig that got flayed. Yeah. Uh huh. That's exactly what it was. They like gave me it- the torsal tube. <laughs> I got the mm, torso. I didn't yum, get a yum. leg. I didn't get it. I didn't get an arm. I didn't get the head. The head was hotly contested. People wanted the head real bad. Well, yeah, cabeza is good. Yeah, little Josito, he wanted it, but then Big Jose wanted it. But Mama Paulina ended up getting her hands on it. These are friends of a friend of Emily who's in her residency program. Okay. There's this guy named Todd who's in Emily's residency program. And he lived down here and he met his wife, Gabby. And now they live in Fort Collins. They're cool. They have a son. He's a lot of fun. They dance like fucking no one's watching. Real horny dancers, these two. Anyway, (laughs) when he lived down here, the first time he went over to these people's house, he's like a fucking rich farmer. He owns his own cheese brand and his own yogurt brand that they sell in grocery stores down here. So he's paid and their place is fucking awesome. So we go over to these Ecuadorian millionaires house and he's got like a horse out in the yard. And he's like riding it around, like doing like weird high stepping with the horse. That's the first time he went there. Well, that, so anyway, this Todd guy, when he lived down here, he didn't go by the name Todd. He went by the name Axel. <laughs> he reinvented Axel Rose. He did. He, he it was against me. Only instead of transitioning, <laughs> he just uh, shaved his head real tight to the side. He, he transitioned into Axel Rose. Yeah, into a guy who was fucking ankle deep in pussy. Axel Tulip. Yeah. So anyway, we'll keep being like Todd, and they're like, Todd? Kian Todd. Huh. Todd? And we're like, no, Axel. And they're like, oh, <laughs> see, Axel, Axel. <laughs> so they invite us back after the first time we went over there, after we saw their, you know, horse doing the boogaloo out in the yard. And there's no horse this time, but there is Duddy. So Duddy's there. And uh, he's confused. He doesn't speak any fucking Spanish, even though he's been down here for a month. Somehow he's like losing words. It's <laughs> very bizarre. <laughs> he, he doesn't know how to say hola. Yeah, he's like hula. And they're like, what? <laughs> he's like, you know, hula. Mahalo. So anyway, we get in there and he's we're there for like two line. and a half hours. Yes, he's a big Dr. Drew guy. Uh, we're in there for two and a half hours. Duddy says one thing, God bless him. He's just sitting there staring, rocking gently. Uh, but they bring out the goddamn guinea pig, the cooey, which everyone loves down here. People have it on their birthdays. People have it at funerals. It's traditional <laughs> during a wedding to uh, release a bunch of cooies on the ground, and then the bride gets to stomp them with her high heels. That's like a big thing down here. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like the Jewish celebration of breaking the glass, but instead it's uh, rodent skulls. So <laughs> cooies. Yeah, cooey, cooey, cooito. But anyway, dude, they gave me the just the your gut. They gave me the you know the gut wall, and that's supposed to be the best piece. This it's all skin, dude. And guess what? The skin was wet. The skin <laughs> was not crispy. Uh, it looked and, uh, crispy and good. No, no, it was soaked. 
Uh. It was it was as soaked as Emmy's panties were watching that man high step his horse around his million dollar yard. Uh. It was like <laughs> it was fucked, man. So yeah, not crispy. El piel tiene humido. All right, it was really bad. It was like no eating second. one of us right now. It was like eating my upper arm. Yes, <laughs> a wet pale arm. Hello, <laughs> that's what it was like. And Emmy, you said Emmy tapped out. Did she try it or did she immediately just say, no, thank you? Emmy had a leg quarter and you could see the little guy's paw on the leg. And she had one bite and was like, all of a sudden her hands underneath the table. She's grabbing my thigh. I'm thinking, hey, save it for after, you know, <laughs> no dessert before dinner. But no, she's horrified and she can't eat this giant piece of rodent in front of her. So as soon as I'm, you know, dude, I was chewing on that goddamn skin. Like I would cut off a little chunk. You can use your hands. So I'm tearing at it like a fucking pig ear, like George Michael when he goes to the treat shack and I'm just gumming on it. And they're asking me questions. Oh, you like it? And I'm like, <laughs> two minutes, dude, two minutes per chunk of oh, cooey. Yeah. So meanwhile, it's taking forever, forever, dude. And I want to just like gut it. You know, or yeah. just be done with it, yeah. peel the whole thing off, slam it, cram it, goodbye. Uh, but yeah, no, so I eat mine, and then Emmy's like, Oh, I'm so full. Sam, do you want mine? And I'm like, Yes, <laughs> nothing would bring me more joy than to eat more cooey <laughs> here in your beautiful home. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> then I gotta fucking cram more cooey. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're already on to cake at this point. They're all eating delicious Trace Leche's cake. <laughs> Emmy's like, oh, man, I, I I had two cooies before we came over here. So yeah, I, exactly. I couldn't oh. possibly. I wish I could. Uh-huh. It's killing me that I can't eat this. Yeah, but I I'm so sorry. It's so cooies. good. <laughs> it's so soggy. I love it. Yeah, it's just how I like it. Sands any kind of texture besides gummy chicle. Oh, no. So, yeah. It looked, I got to report it on the coolie. It looked like it was crispy and would probably taste okay. That sucks. Dude, I don't know if you ever had rat before, but no. this was better. No. You had you had goat, you said the goat was good. Goat's great. Llama's great. Everything's great down here wow. except for the fucking gooey. The gooey is no boy. I had goat in uh Vegas. There must have been a place that had goat and it was pretty good. Yeah, Chivo Terry mm. Chivo? It's really good. Yeah, I don't I don't know what goat is. I don't know, dude. But yeah, uh, to everyone who was asking, I'm sorry to report that the cooey was not my favorite. And I, I really wanted to see the whole thing. I wanted to see them like cut it up and serve it to us. Mm. But no, I think they got this off some fucking cart because I've just been painting the walls. No oh, toilet really? is safe. Now. Yeah, it's been really bad. And dude, it was so bad. Mark. So Emmy came home from work today. And she was like, oh, my God, the bathroom still reeks from this morning. And I was like, well, that's impossible. And then I went in there. <laughs> it was possible. It was very possible. Anything and is she possible. Said, <laughs> she said, you think that's bad? Check this up. And you know how, like, if this is the toilet, right? You know how there's, like, the one that you sit on when you're jumping and then you lift it up to pee? Yeah. So the one that you lift up to pee underneath, caked. Oh, yeah, dude, Megan and I have been blasting our toilet and she doesn't ever see like Emmy. They don't see that the underside of the lid or the rim because they sit down and everything's, you know, down below. But yeah, Mm -hmm. I'm lifting the thing up to whiz and I'm like, oh, my God, what what hell hath we wrought? Dude, it looked like some it looked like, you know, like when your mom would uh, give you the bowl after she made cake. It looked yeah, like that, uh, like yeah. mixing bowl after you lick it out and finger it out. That's what that's what the bowl looked like. It was so yeah, bad. Oh. yeah, like thick streaks of cake batter. I really felt bad, and I was like, I'm really sorry. Oh, before I forget, uh, when I was meeting with Leslie, I she was asking about like ideas, things you know to make lines, inside jokes. She was like, what's what's something with Becker? And I was like, 24 Pop-Tarts. And she was like, what? And I was like, he ate 24 Pop-Tarts in one night because he eats once a day, blah, blah, blah. And she knows. She's known him forever. So she was like, oh, yeah. Uh, 
when he he got covid i guess end of 2020 summer of 2020 whenever it was but when was, i got it when i got it it was in december okay and yeah we were Chris still and buddy were wrestling in that pool oh yeah okay so yeah he was he was still in denver and quarantined and she told him that she would bring him food just let it you know let let me know what you want and i'll drop it off on your porch and i don't know how many days in a row but for several days in a row he just wanted uncrustables like a box so we're pretty sure that that means 24 uncrustables a day for like four days yeah a day for like four days in a row maybe five 96 uncrustables yeah dude uh we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get the the truth out of becker once he's done with this uh journeyman phase of his plumbing career yeah when he's done fucking finding himself out there in rio bamba (laughs) he's down there with you come on the pod i messaged him he's on a call or something i don't care what kind of fucking fake rinky dinky bullshit hoax he's trying to perpetrate against us all right he gets a third of the check he has to answer when i call for him (laughs) i'm like a falconer and he's my trusty (laughs) peregrine Come Becker. <laughs> I mean, that was I can't... a while ago. He was on the call, dude. What the fuck? How are you eating that many Incrustables when you're not a homeschool kid? He was. A I get it. If you're a and... child, it's fine. I get it. Your parents are gone. They left twenty bucks on the counter. Get a couple of fucking two liters of surge, some Incrustables. Watch Starcade '98. No big deal. All right, but. He's fucking 43 years old. <laughs> I wonder if uh, part of it might have been that he was sick. Maybe he didn't have a uh, uh, sense of taste or smell. So it was just texture he just... and he just wanted some goo. <laughs> some mushy, mushy, uh, m- mushy jelly. I don't know. I'm trying to make excuses. I'm trying to figure him out. Don't, don't, dude. Don't try and figure him out. Don't get lost in there. Stay here with me. Stay here with your broad-bodied Sam. <laughs> there he is. If you, if you guys aren't watching this on YouTube, you're really missing out because we are, are effectively nude and broad. Look at my dumbass tattoo. <laughs> no. You think yours is dumb? Look at mine. Yeah, your own mom's name. Yeah, some scoos that I met. This was on a light switch. I think we still have the light switch cover that this was on. Yeah, people are like, what was it like when Lund was crazy? And it's like, well, he got a Dio de los Muertos tattoo because he liked the light switch and then also thought criminal with a butthole on his arm. No, it's a cross. It's starting to bleed together. No, I have the Kurt Vonnegut butthole on my calf. It looks kind of like a can't show you that. It's kind of like a white supremacist symbol. Looks like a prison tattoo you got. Yeah, except this is the font from Dogma. So it's cool. Oh yeah, everybody knows that. <laughs> that makes it. They better. do. You don't remember that shit? I don't remember the font. I saw that in theaters with my mom, though. Nice. That was cool. Yeah. I show. I got to show this. I got to show this tattoo to Kevin Smith, and he liked it. Nice. <laughs> Big day for he, you. He was. He was uh, not the only one. I don't think, but uh, I think he was. A, he was. It was the first time that a comic. I think was so getting so fucked by the uh, alt by altitude sickness. He had two shows at Comedy Works downtown, and in between, nice you call him a comic. That's pretty generous. Well, yeah, whatever. But he was at Comedy Works, and in it between was shows, Jeremy Kevin. No, it was just him, just mm. Kev. This was when Jay was like, everybody was scared he was going to die. I think he was like in alleys and shit. You know, he hadn't bounced yeah, back yet. He was in the yet. throes of his addiction. I don't think he was doing good, but. In between shows, Kevin was in the green room with all the lights off, just like trying not to puke. <laughs> it sounded rough. Damn. And then I came in and bugged him and showed him a tattoo. And I was like, yeah, it's the dogma font, but my favorite one is mall rats. <laughs> and he was like, okay. He throws like, up. He just blasts everywhere. <laughs> I got another show. Yeah, that makes him puke. <laughs> yeah, that's what got him. <laughs> in, one of, in one of his uh, specials, you know, video, you know, one of his performances he said that the weirdest fucks always like Mallrats the best and i was like well fuck i that's that's me bro i think i like Mallrats the best. 
It's the best one. The only it, funny one. It rules. Yeah. Hundred yeah, percent. Cl- Clerks is like you know tries to uh, you know tries to be avant garde, whatever, and it's pretty good. And then Marat's rules. Dogma is pretty Marat's sick. Is a lady, Marat's is a lady with like three nipples. Yeah, dude. And those are some like good, those are some killer tits. Bro, I did some work to that. <laughs> I I was watching Mall Rat so much I had a ball rash. It was bad. yeah, for sure. <laughs> he had a ball rash. Yeah, that's what I said. Clerks is uh well your internet's fucking up. Clerks so. is is it or no, I thought it was you. No, nah, mine mine's good. Dude, I cannot wait for this shit to be over. I cannot <laughs> wait to be back on US soil. Somebody's gonna climb a clock tower because of the Ecuadorian internet. They're gonna go down there and finish the job that the president started because of this. <laughs> We're almost there. Two more days, and you get to fly home, maybe, or do you have to go somewhere else? Bro, I leave tomorrow at midnight. I leave Friday. I leave Saturday morning at twelve thirty a.m. and I fly to Houston and have a four-hour layover, and then I fly to Indianapolis to go to the Indianapolis Five Hundred with the RU Garbage Boys. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is great. I'm fucking stoked. I'm a race guy now. You know, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a racer. I'm a racist guy, and I like <laughs> that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, I fly home Monday at like six a.m. So I'll okay. be in. Uh, I'll be in Indianapolis for like 36 crazy hours just playing pink belly with holy with holy foley. And uh but yeah, dude, I just I need to get home and just lay down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited. My pants for keep tearing, my crotch keeps tearing out of my pants all the time. Emily's had to re-sew them three times down here. What's different down there? I don't know. I You're think full it's full of guinea pig. Too much cooey. Yeah, yeah cooey crotch. <laughs> Your little guinea pigs trying to get free. I want to get home. I want to eat some pho. I want to. I want, I want to soak my body. I wish you could get a massage in a pool. That'd be cool. I don't think it's legal. I need someone really strong to rub me down. Oh yeah, Chris Pierce uh, and Buddy when they came to my house that one time. Uh, I, I Emily bought one of those like that Leslie lady who's doing the merch now for us. She sews, right? She's like a sewer. She, yeah, she does all kinds of stuff. Cross stitch. Uh, Take a yeah, break a of, from a whiff in your bag to a lot of multimedia. I got something under my nail, and I wanted to get it while I listen to you drone on. Okay. Well, anyway, she does those like cross stitches, and she sold one that says "Good night, White Pride." And uh, Buddy and Chris were at my house, and they saw that, and Chris was like, "Who's that for?" I was like, what? And he's like, why do you have that? And I was like, well, I don't know. Emily bought it. And he's like, yeah, but like, what are you trying to prove? I was like, what do you, what do you mean? What, how are this upsetting you? Good night. White pride is not cool. According to you, what's going on here? And he's like, yeah, man, it just like, seems like you're like hiding something. And I was like, okay, get out of my house. Go what outside. is it? What is it? Is it from something? It's something she said, sold that said, good night, white pride. It's an anti-white power sentiment. And Chris thought that I was right. putting on airs. <laughs> that it was a decoy. And also, <laughs> yeah. And also I have like, uh, <laughs> so in my first house in Fort Collins, I had good night, white pride. And then also I have uh, those Swastika. like, uh, no, not the SWA. Uh, fucking, oh, what's his fucking name? That dude who used to live in San Francisco. Anyway, he made these like prints of like, uh, redlined neighborhoods and then over the top of those neighborhood maps and those city maps is someone from that neighborhood so i've got like aretha franklin over detroit's redline map uh, I've got yeah, Alan Iverson are, over. Ver- those are they're cool. cool it's for black people and chris is like <laughs> huh you're really you're really letting everyone know you're with it huh and i was like what i just bought my friend's fucking art what's the matter with you and he's like all <laughs> right i'm on to you he is he is a lot it's because he knows no one can hurt him yeah well yeah i just realized people may have seen that video of him and not realize they don't know that that's our buddy chris but that there's oh, yeah. a video you saw a, a big mongoloid wrestler <laughs> making some guy do a line of fake blow off the top rope that was our friend chris who was on an episode of our podcast called shining metal dicks yeah that was god i was so scared to go and meet up with you guys and i wish i would have even though you did get COVID. Uh, it sounded like a fun time. 
playing grab ass in the pool. We had so much fun and we all got COVID. <laughs> big deal. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if it would be a big deal or not. It was a hoax. So I Much like home. Chris thinks my anti-white power sentiments are. Chris got on the phone, remember? He was like trying to get, he was trying to bully me over the phone. It's like, it doesn't work. I'm not scared of you over the phone. You can't right, hurt me. Yeah. He was like, but I could eventually. And I was like, no, you'll never yeah. find me. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll lock the door. <laughs> I'm underground. Yeah, he would eat you like a cooey, man. He'd peel your skin off. He doesn't care if it's wet. It's protein. But yeah, that thing has like made the rounds. And unfortunately, a lot of times he said it's just like, you know, he doesn't get any credit. His original video was like taken down off of TikTok, but other accounts have shared it and gotten fame and fortune. And he's DJs. really been milking it. He's milking it. But he's it being is, a baby. It was funny. I mean, it was a good idea. Yeah, it's good. Man. Hopefully, you can come to come to Lucha Libre and last sometime, Chris. If only uh, That'd the be book crazy. Could listen to us. If only one, uh, yeah. what have you seen the lineup of comics yeah it's pretty good on the 10 year anniversary it's pretty good <laughs> yeah there's some funny people involved yeah it's a real it's a real slobber knocker you asked about favorite memories us wrestling was awesome i don't know if that was just to put me in a good mood or what <laughs> it was a psyop Think of your favorite oh, memories me, of me. Tell me about your weird sex dream you had about me. Oh, God, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was so annoying. I, like, got a couple extra hours of sleep and had to waste them with... I have these fucking dreams, like, stress dreams that involve not being able to find a bathroom. I find a bathroom, <laughs> but there's, like, four toilets and they're all being used and people are coming and going. Like That's your stress dream yeah yeah is like i have to shit and it's awkward or weird and so yeah this one you were there and we're in some house and like there's no toilet paper so i use somebody's like robe <laughs> there was like something in the bathroom like somebody's fucking lingerie and i'm just like oh yeah i'll wipe with this and then you can't fl- you can't flush it so i think because you're in ecuador you. yeah and then you like turned a shower on and it just like started it like flooded water came down from like everywhere from like the roof and it was just like getting all over somebody's bedroom and you you didn't turn it off and i was like what are you doing and then the absurdity (laughs) of the room being like drenched made me realize i was dreaming so i woke up and i was like god what a fucking waste cool job brain I love that. Yeah, it was dumb <laughs> as hell. I'm glad that you were there, but <laughs> yeah, it was so stupid. Oh, dude, it's so funny that your stress dream. My stress dreams are like I'm on stage at the Apollo, and uh, I'm about to say it. No, my stress <laughs> dreams are like uh, you know, it's always stand up related. Like I'm on stage and I forget my act, or no, it's I can't find the stage. That's the big one. I'm in some like theater, <laughs> and I can't find the stage, and they've introduced me. And I can tell that like time's going by. I can hear people in the crowd being like, where is he? Oh, he sucks anyway. You know, like that kind of <laughs> thing. Awesome. syndrome dreams. Yeah, it's really bad. People being like, oh, I know I shouldn't have bought tickets for this. And I'm like behind a curtain, but I can't get to the stage. But yours are you have to dump and you can't. That, that It's, yeah, just bad poop situations. I've only had like two dreams with stand-up i can remember and they both sucked both were annoying where everything sucked and i've had more dreams than that more than two where i'm in a band like i have a guitar on you know (laughs) i'm like wearing a guitar and i don't know how to play and so i just have to like fake it it sucks oh my god i hate those dreams i love that yeah Uh, i'm glad i don't have more stand-up stress dreams because that sucks be just wandering around knowing that everybody's mad at you <laughs> the Dude, god mike so is, bad. the god mike just keeps saying your name and you can tell they're frustrated <laughs> it's so bad you're not gonna get paid because you can't find the stage because <laughs> you're yeah, so and also dumb. like you're so dumb and also people are finally there to see you in a theater setting and you're just totally boning your own bone hole you know yeah. It's oh, it sucks so bad. You no, know, it doesn't oh, suck. God. 
is this podcast. It's a good one. I'm yeah. glad that people listen. We're doing a good me job. Too. We are. I just saw somebody say, uh, a guy named Matthew hit me up on Instagram, said that he blasted through, I think he said all the free ones, and now he's onto the Patreon, and I was like, dude, there's some good stuff in there. Oh, no. I hope he's okay. <laughs> it feels like that would warp <laughs> you significantly. He's got nothing else except yeah. for us. He's like, she's gone, the kid's dead, the dog's <laughs> sick, so... <laughs> Thank you guys for keeping me from going back to the pawn shop and using my last nickel to buy back daddy's pistol. Way to go, boys. <laughs> uh, oh, mention- hey, shout out, to, shout out to the people who sent me money directly just because they were worried I was going to die in Ecuador. What? People like, yeah, dude, it's crazy. I got paypal from people just being like, hey, man, hope you survive. Here's some fucking money. You don't need people's money. I do too. You I'm barely holding on. Life. You wrote a book. Send money to me. You get all the money. You're doing well. Anything. It all goes to my ex-wife. Oh yeah, I forgot. Should we say your name? Rwanda. Oh, okay, nice. But yeah, shout out to those people. That was really cool of them. And hey, if you want to support the podcast more, you should join the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Chubby Behemoth. Get over there and join it. Five bucks a month gets you another episode every week. It's very easy. Also, we're going to start putting up video content because our numbers have spiked. And I want to reward you all for being there. So video content will be coming inbound, starting first with the Jake Becker gets a tattoo video. Jake Jake Becker freaks out about something that people do every day. (laughs) <laughs> even yeah, little kids no, n- no needle drug addict jake becker pretends to have some kind of needle phobia despite it being his quote-unquote main thing for years and no quote. he never spiked i don't care he's gonna spike we're spiking oh. on on patreon you know i told leslie about becker's quote i miss heroin more than any of my friends that killed leslie yeah. has lost a lot of people to heroin and she finds she- them she did oh. a mental she did a mental list and i think heroin won <laughs> over her friends so that Dude. was wild and i said it doesn't mean that the friends were shitty it means heroin is they were weak good. oh yeah that. heroin rules mm-hmm. heroin but does do- rule. maybe we should do some heroin when we hit a thousand, <laughs> a thousand. patreon subscribers yeah let's in, smoke a little foil in three weeks <laughs> yeah that'd be sick okay no. that's what we're doing no you heard it here first, folks. No, we're getting Lebre piercings at a thousand. <laughs> oh fuck! That. Remember those? Okay. Yes. No, dude. it's it's this, isn't it? Oh, this one, the yeah. God Smack. Yeah, to- the Sully. <laughs> I'm not getting the Sully no, Erna, wait, dude. That's, no, that's Disturbed. Sully Erna was God Smack. Yeah, but Disturbed, the Dave Draymond from Disturbed had like two, like the two. Is- shark teeth coming out of there this is, this is why people listen to this pod because we talk about what matters <laughs> i forgot to cr- <laughs> i forgot I'm not, supposed to, Ernest name. <laughs> I'm not supposed to correct you oh what you're gone i can't hear you you biffed it god breaking news and you can't get it across what what did you do? You unplug something, plug it back in. Oh, I should I'm shut back. up. I'm back, right? Yes. You can hear me? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I wasn't saying anything nasty when I wasn't there. All right. I saw you say shut up. No, you heard me say <laughs> you said shut up. Up. this is cool. Oh. No, uh, I'm lying. Anyway, join the Patreon or else. Because if you don't, if we don't hit a thousand subscribers soon. Becker's going to get fucked. Clock tower? Oh, Becker. Yeah, we're going to fuck Becker. We'll feed him Pop-Tarts like in seven. Where he'll have a bucket under the table and Pop-Tarts on the table and uh, have his hands tied. Yeah, we'll do table. it like, uh, like, the, like the Violator in Spawn. That's what I want to do to him. <laughs> All right. Uh, Hail Baco. Bye. Becker. Record again. Are you recording? Mm-hmm. Becker. Leslie told Lund that when you had COVID, she was dropping off 24 Uncrustables a day for four to five days. That seems accurate. <laughs>
Dude, I it was like the only thing I could manage texture wise when I couldn't taste or smell anything. Nailed it. And and I had the fucking hunger like I've never had in my life. Like I was waking up starving like I was eight years old and growing again. You just wanted a pouch full of slop 96 times. No, dude, I wanted anything else, but like everything else I tried was so gross. Like tech just eating things that just turned into just texture and feel, it like almost ruined foods I loved for me. Like fried chicken. Jesus. I thought fried chicken would be fine. Like it's crispy and moist. Like, no, it is so many other textures that your brain ignores because the flavor is so good. Damn. Well, I'm glad that Leslie told us the truth about you. Uh, and you can figure out where to put this anywhere in the episode. I'll probably put it at the end. Good call.